It's super important that we look after our brains. It's not just about ourselves, it's about our families. Today, we're diving into an incredible topic that affects each and every one of us, keeping our brains healthy. And to guide us on this journey, we're referencing insights from the renowned scientist, Dr. David Sinclair. Dr. David Sinclair, a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, has been at the forefront of aging research. His work has shed light on how we can keep our bodies and brains young and healthy. So, what does the latest science say about keeping our brains in top shape? Today we're talking about perhaps the most important organ in the body, and that's the brain. That the brain ages slower than the rest of the body. Well, there's a practical and an evolutionary explanation for those. The practical one is that our brain is protected. There's a blood-brain barrier that doesn't get hit by UV light like our skin does. Uh, but our brain needs to be protected from these toxins that are in the environment and, of course, um, anything that leads to brain aging. But, of course, our brains will still age. Um, DNA breaks, we've talked about. Broken chromosomes accelerate that clock. And this happens naturally, even to cells that don't divide, including neurons, the nerve cells in our brain. Unlike the liver, you can cut a piece out, it grows back. The brain doesn't easily do that. There's a little neurogenesis, as we call it, but mostly those nerve cells are going to be there for your whole life. And so they have these super protective mechanisms, these adversity systems that keep the brain younger for longer. But they're, they're not perfect, of course. We do have an aging brain, but there are ways to turn on those defenses greater than they naturally would be activated. Our brains are the control centers of our bodies, responsible for everything from our thoughts and emotions to our movements and memories. But just like any other organ, our brains can age and deteriorate over time. According to Dr. Sinclair, maintaining brain health is crucial for overall well-being and longevity. By working on aging, we can keep the whole body young, including the brain, which is really what we want to do if we want to have maximal gains in longevity and health and mental capacity right up to the end. So, what can we do to keep our brains healthy? Here are some science-backed tips. It said brain-boosting foods to diet. First up, let's talk about nutrition. Dr. Sinclair emphasizes the importance of a balanced diet rich in antioxidants, healthy fats, and essential nutrients. Foods like blueberries, nuts, fatty fish, and leafy greens are excellent for brain health. These foods help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, which are linked to cognitive decline. We've talked previously about the Mediterranean diet, and one of the reasons is that it's very clear in over a dozen studies that a Mediterranean-type diet protects the brain from aging and can even reverse aspects of aging in the elderly with mild cognitive impairments. And there was a second study that I found fascinating. This one was by Anastasio et al, 2017. And it was over a thousand, actually close to 2000 people. And there was a 10% reduction in dementia risk for people on the Mediterranean diet. And so that includes olive oil in the diet, red wine, and not a lot of red meat. Well, there are a number of things. I would put them into a few different buckets that there are vitamins that can be deficient that we, we, we need to talk about about the clock later. But first up, there's red wine, which has polyphenols. Resveratrol is one of those. And my lab has been working on resveratrol for many years. And that directly activates sirt one It makes the enzyme, it's like a Pac-Man and it's controlling genes and it works faster. So resveratrol from red wine it's clearly been shown to be beneficial and also prevents cancer and not just has metabolic and brain enhancing effects. The other component of Mediterranean diet that works on CERT1 is olive oil. Um, and Doug Masinek recently showed that if you add oleic acid, which is a major component of olive oil, it's also found in avocados and other good foods like that, can also directly activate the enzyme by sticking to it and making this Pac-Man, I don't know if everyone knows what a Pac-Man is, this little puppet creature on an electronic game uh, chomp faster. Um, and there's probably other molecules that are about xenohermetic molecules. Plants make these molecules to survive stress and when we eat them, we get the benefits of that stress because we worry, our bodies worry that our food supply might run out. Even with a normal diet, you often don't get enough of these omega-3 fatty acids, which are the types that we don't make ourselves. Um, if you're only meat and you don't eat fish, if you eat animals besides fish, you're not getting a lot of them. And they're, they're the building blocks of the brain, so we need a lot of them. And they've been shown in a number of studies to, to help with many different things, from wound healing and, of course, depression. Now, what are the sources? Well, if you eat fish, you're, you're probably in good shape. You've got salmon and mackerel, krill, sardines. These are good sources of omega-3s. Remember, what you eat directly impacts your brain function. So, make sure to include these superfoods in your diet. Tip 2. Stay physically active. Next, 
Let's talk about physical activity. Dr. Sinclair's research highlights the powerful effects of exercise on brain health. Regular physical activity increases blood flow to the brain, promotes the growth of new neurons, and enhances cognitive function. In dozens of studies, it's been shown that if you do aerobic exercise or even just walk, that'll improve your chances of having a better memory and cognition as you get older. The reason we think that is, is that there's two reasons. One is better blood flow and also better neuronal activity and slowing aging of those cells. That involves the sirtuins, this third protective survival pathway that can be activated, of course, by this, the food and also by exercise. There are a number of studies that we could talk about. The one that stood out for me in our research was the one that involved 160 sedentary, sitting down, non-exercising adults that were told for six months to do extra aerobic exercise. Did yeah, And I think that that's one of the main reasons for exercising. You might want to do it not just because you feel better, but you will think better too. There's another study, it doesn't have to include aerobic exercise. There's one where there's strength exercise. So if you don't like running, pick up some weights because what's been found in this study, this is 2013, Pereira and colleagues found that in an elderly cohort, they had 451 people, just 10 weeks of strength training increased the level of factors that grow new brain cells, new nerves. This marker is called BDNF or brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And we use that as a way of indicating the youthfulness of the brain and regrowth of new nerve cell. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a full body workout, staying active is key to keeping your brain sharp. Priorities sleep and manage stress. Lastly, let's talk about sleep and stress. Dr. Sinclair underscores the importance of quality sleep for brain health. During sleep, our brains undergo crucial processes like memory consolidation, and toxin removal. Aim for seven, nine hours of restful sleep each night. But let's talk a little bit about sleep because the hypothalamus controls the circadian rhythm, day and night rhythms of the body. Yeah, another way of saying it is that as you get older, you lose your ability to sleep. And if you don't sleep well, you'll lose your ability to fight aging. And it's just a, a feed forward disaster. So you've got to intervene. You can intervene with the kind of things we talk about here, which is eating well, exercising, yeah, another way of saying it is that as you get older, you lose your ability to sleep. And if you don't sleep well, you'll lose your ability to fight aging. And it's just a, a feed forward disaster. So you've got to intervene. You can intervene with the kind of things we talk about here, which is eating well, exercising. But now let, let's talk about what do we do to make sure we sleep well and we have the right rhythm. And one of the key things that I use is NMN. NMN is going to raise NAD levels in the morning. I take a gram of it then. Uh, but I also... When I travel, I use it to reset my body and I, I definitely feel that I can avoid jet lag if I do that. It's super important that we look after our brains. It's not just about ourselves, it's about our families. Uh, many families have had to take care of parents and grandparents that have dementia. This is not pleasant for anybody. And we have a, a responsibility to society and particularly our family members to stay healthy for longer, particularly keeping our brains younger for longer. That's it, everyone. Three proven tips to keep your brain in peak condition. All thanks to Dr. David Sinclair's expertise. A healthy brain is key to a vibrant life. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and drop a comment telling us your favorite brain boosting habits. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay brainy and be optimal.